Demand for power is at an all-time high. The switch to renewable energy is well underway. Now, more than ever, Europe needs new power links between countries. Interconnectors play a vital role in our European infrastructure, delivering secure, sustainable and affordable energy to consumers and businesses across Europe, now and into the future. Cobra Cable is a unique connection, delivered at a time when the green transition is crucial to meet future energy requirements. The uh, Cobra Cable project is to establish an uh, interconnector between uh, Denmark and Netherlands, and we normally call it a wind connector, because it, it's actually trading of uh, green energy by balancing surpluses from uh, the wind production, Denmark, Netherlands. It's uh, also about bringing a lot of people together and uh, creating uh, something uh, unique uh, for, for the TSOs. The reason why the Cobra Cable is unique is that it's the first interconnector offshore connection that is ready to connect the third terminal and therefore a wind park. And so in the future we are ready to connect any wind park up to 700 megawatts to the Cobra Cable. With uh, the, the, the project of common interest, uh, which are financed through the Connecting Europe facility, what we're trying to do is support the development of projects that develop energy systems across borders in the European Union. A project like Cobra Cable fits squarely into that category. Cobra Cable is a 325 kilometer long subsea cable between Endrup in Denmark and Eemshaven in the Netherlands that transports 700 megawatts of energy between the two nations. To deliver this vital link, a collaboration was formed between the Dutch TSO Tenet and the Danish TSO Energinet in partnership with main contractors Siemens for the electrical equipment and civil works, KG Hansen for the civil works in Denmark and Prismian Group for cable manufacturing and installation. We want in Europe to have a strong interconnection between uh, the, the Nordic hydro system, wind power in the mid-Europe and solar energy in the southern part of Europe. And by connecting these energy systems, you can say you create value. The wind is not blowing always everywhere, so if there is an oversupply for, for uh, uh, renewables or wind in a certain area, you can transport it to the other way. And by doing that, you can have a utilization of the renewables, both uh, wind but also uh, solar in, in the near future. In 2016, our main construction partner Siemens began work on the manufacturing and installation of the electrical equipment on the converter station sites at Endrup in Denmark and Eemshaven in the Netherlands. We are here on the Cobra Cable site in uh, Eemshaven, Netherlands, and today we just finished the sleeve pipe pulling for the AC cables. It went well in one day, so that's uh, a compliment to all and all the workers who are here on site. So after today we had uh, the sleeve pipes. We're going to make an open trench on our site for the three-phase cables and the fiber optics will come in with, uh, with the cable pool. I'm very happy and actually at the end of the day the sun was shining and the banana is on the face. As the civil works got underway in Denmark and the Netherlands, Prismian Group began work on the cable production at their centre of excellence in Naples. Prismian is uh, the main contractor for the Cobra project. We are trying to always find a solution to a problem and Cobra was mm, a project that required to uh, transfer energy um, among uh, two countries and we designed a specific cable to uh, perform the required solution for the interconnect between the two countries. From the factory here in Naples, the cable was loaded onto a specialist cable laying vessel which transported it ready to be laid in the middle of the North Sea. The installation of the offshore cable started on the small Danish island Fano. Here the cable was pulled ashore before the cable vessel headed south, laying the cable on its way. The first cable here, that's uh, 37 kilometer, here from the beach of Fano, out in the North Sea. Then in the beginning of December, we are going to install the next uh, cable, it's 56 kilometer cable, that's going to be connected with the first cable and uh, it will be finished around Christmas time. The Cobra Cable route was particularly challenging with many sensitive areas and environments that the project team had to navigate. 
The island of Fano is a highly protected area and had to be crossed with a 6.5 kilometer long section of onshore cable. This particular section of cable had to be transported by passenger ferry before being installed by the team. This cable was partly installed through an 800 meter long horizontal directional drilling under the sand dunes and partly by using a digging box as to pass the salt marsh on the eastern part of the island. It was the first time this method had been used to install a 400 kV cable. While the team made great progress with the cable installation, another vital part of the project was well underway in Nuremberg. These are transformers, huge components that were installed at each converter station in order to adapt the voltage before it enters into the converter or the grid. Each transformer underwent an epic journey from the factory in Nuremberg, travelling by ship and loader to their final location on site. At both Endrup and Eemshaven, the team carried out a very delicate operation to make sure these huge transformers were delivered safely. It was a massive undertaking and one which was carried out with pinpoint accuracy by the team on site. It's a very good feeling that uh, the transformers are um, finally arriving at site. Uh, we are waiting for them for more than two years when we started the design phase of the transformers. And um, the construction phase, which was last year, some testing has to be done on these actually big animals. Eh? And um, now this testing went very well. And now we are very happy to see them here in one piece at site. Within the converter stations, Siemens had carried out the installation of equipment that will take in direct current from the cable and convert it to alternating current to be introduced to the Dutch and Danish electricity grids. The converters are made of 1,872 submodules collected in 24 converter towers. The total size of the converter hall is 3,700 square meters, which is roughly half the size of a soccer field. When we started the project, we were looking how to make the, or this project as close as possible to our customers. So and we decided to use our setup in Denmark for the Danish side, the setup in the Netherlands for the Dutch side, and of course uh, the headquarters for the coordination works and for the design works. We have to transfer the AC current to DC, which is done by semiconductors, supported by a proper control and protection unit, and uh, this is designed specifically for that project. The translation from AC to DC is done via transformers, and this describes already the main components of our project. Safety is for us as Siemens a very important piece in a project. And we were very happy when EnergyNet and Tenet made it as a focus point in this project and also as a reference where we are measured against. With a truly international project of this magnitude, safety and collaboration were key priorities from the outset. The Better Together Culture program is a joint effort between uh, employer, contractors, subcontractors, building and health and safety culture. We've learned through other projects that more and more that collaboration is key to get it right on the workplace. Also taking part in the, in the beginning weekly toolbox meetings, everybody at site knew what, what was going on for the coming week. Where were cranes, where were uh, scaffoldings, where somebody has to, to work uh, in a special way. Companies we've chosen already have a high safety standard, uh, but by sharing the best practices, learning from each other, we hope to increase them even further. So we have the uh, culture program, Better Together, where we actually focus on the anchoring and uh, uniting safe behavior, that we uh, communicate clearly about what do we expect, and uh, also that it is highly appreciated that people uh, speak out whenever they see uh, unsafe behaviors. We have organized it into three easy categories. It's connect, conduct and commit. Everybody has to be involved. It's a, it's a joint project. We have a joint effort and a joint responsibility in keeping each other safe. In November 2018, Prismian Group's specialist cable laying barge, Ulissa, arrived near to the shore at Eemshaven, ready to begin one of the most challenging operations of the entire Cobra Cable project. The arrival of the cable here marked an important milestone for the project and a very proud moment for the team involved. We installed the land cable, afterwards we opened the dike 
While it was storm season, we had to install the pipes and close the dike for the storm season. So now we're pulling it through the pipes uh, so that we also can uh, work in the storm season. I'm very proud uh, to, to manage uh, this work at, at this site in Emshaven. This section of cable will connect to the converter station at Eemshaven and then it's up to Ulissa to sail away from shore, laying the cable as it goes. The offshore installation was carried out by Prismian Group. In 2019, the construction of Cobra Cable was completed, ready for the important testing phase. Here, the teams on site carried out successful active power transfers between the Netherlands and Denmark to ensure the security and stability of the system. Once completed, it was time for Cobra Cable to go live. In the projects, uh, what brings most pressure or did bring most pressure so, so far, that's uh, seeing all those uh, good guys brought together, being able to reach the final goal across company culture, across all kind of working different in working procedures and uh, create a lot of uh, good friendships. What I like most about Cobra Cable in this project is the cooperation you have with, with many different uh, people from many different uh, countries. Uh, our partnership with Energinet, uh, as I said before, also with the government, we had a really good relationship, really working well together. Uh, that's what I like the best about. Besides, of course, the result that we have really, really good, good working into it. Teamwork and cooperation is, uh, is very important, I would say crucial for a project like this, because otherwise you will not succeed. 